Hey guys, Zach here from Reptile Creation, and today I'm picking up where I left off on my last terrarium project that I was working on. Uh, where I left you guys last was on the grout, so now I'm working on sealing the grout. So I got that set up outside in my uh, workspace, so I'll be heading out there to show you guys where I'm at. Um, on Other than that, this project is going to be right here in this terrarium for my geckos. Uh, it's going to have two moist hide boxes kind of stacked on top of each other inside of a cliff. If you haven't already seen that, um, the link will be in the description for the other videos in, in the uh, project. And when I'm done, I'll put them all in a big playlist. So if that's already done, I'll definitely have a link to that in the description as well. Or even maybe I'll put in an annotation right here for it. But right now I'm just going to head outside. But make sure you stick around because I have a couple announcements at the end of the video. So I'll be coming back in here and telling you guys what I'm working on next. So here we go. And so here it is. I just wanted to quickly start off uh, to tell you what I'm using to seal this up with. This is a um, Rust-Oleum uh It's a polyurethane water-based outdoor uh, sealant for wood. A lot of people use this stuff for uh, the coatings of inside of their terrariums. Um, and I found it does work quite nicely on top of grout for this project here. So I, I'm going with that. If anybody has any questions about that, um, uh, as to the safety, it does have very low VOCs. The fact that it's not oil based and stuff like that is really good. So I'm just painting this on. I'll get the camera on here and show you guys me coating it on. But uh, essentially, the uh, the coating has a really nice uh, washable finish that is what I was looking for without being too rough. But over the grout, it gives it a nice uh, rocky feel. So here we go. So I'm planning on doing three or four coats here. I've already gotten a second coat on the top side of the uh, project. All the walking areas where the geckos are going to be moving around have gotten their second coat. So I just am going over the uh, bottom edge because I want to make sure the whole thing's all cured up. Obviously I left some spots a little bit more blank on the bottom, but it's all good. I'm just going to, you know, work with that. So. Uh, now I'm going to just be flipping all these pieces upside down to do the bottom side, so here we go. I've noticed that uh, the first coat went on and barely covered anything for each uh, bit brush full of uh, sealant that I used, but the second coat went on a lot better and uh, ended up covering the parts that I was uh, worried about if it wouldn't cover very quickly and I might have to do too many coats. But the second coat is way better than the first, so I just kept going with it. So now that you guys can see pretty much how I'm uh, going about painting this on, I'm just going to turn the camera off and do this because it's rather time consuming and uh, I'm sure you don't want to watch the whole process of me painting this entire thing all on camera. So I'll finish this up, I'm going to put another couple coats and I'll show you how nice and thick this looks when I'm done because I'm sure the finished coat's going to look great after three or four coats. So and we'll come back to this when I'm uh, just about finished. All right, so here I have the fourth coat all finished up. Um, it's kind of still doing some drying, but it's pretty much dry to the touch. Uh, the uh, 
can actually suggest for you to wait at least a week before regular use for all the uh, curing to happen and the uh, VOCs, the volatile organic compounds that I mentioned earlier, to get off gas. So since I am going to be keeping this with my reptiles, and this, like I said, was low VOC, so it is an ideal option, I still want to wait an extra amount of time. I'm probably going to wait two or three times the recommended week so that I'm absolutely positive the VOCs are gone. But the fourth coat on the top of all this grout definitely gave me the washable finish that I was hoping to get, smooth enough to kind of scrub and get everything off of there when you need to. So I'm going to run inside and show you guys what's happening next. So I hope you guys like what that project's looking like out there. Um, I'll definitely have it done in a few weeks and be posting a finished video of it in the terrarium and show you guys a nice video with it with some geckos climbing around on it and stuff. But in the meantime, I want to do a kind of frequently asked questions answer video. So if you guys have any questions about how I do my terrariums, um, I have a few questions that I get asked often that I'm definitely going to cover in detail in my video. But in the meantime, uh, shoot in the comments or even head over to my Facebook page and like that because I'm definitely going to be uh, taking into consideration what you guys want to know in my uh, new video about how I make my projects and what I look for in the materials I use and all that stuff. So uh, other than that, I have a piece of concept art for my next project. This terrarium is going to look really cool. kind of had the idea that I wanted a uh, a temple with um, a face where the uh, geckos could climb in and out of the mouth. So here it is. Obviously this isn't uh, exactly what the project's gonna look like, but if you can uh, picture this as a real three-dimensional uh, background kind of thing with a hide inside of it, you'll uh, start to maybe get a picture of what I'm thinking. So. Hope you guys uh, are excited for that, and have a good one, guys.